All right, and today we're making some um, DDNP, finally, from our sodium picramate. So we're going to use two grams of sodium picramate uh, and the corresponding amount of sodium nitrite, um, which is or oh, just a tad over half a gram, which isn't very much. And um, yeah, there's not much to say really for this reaction. Um, we've run a diazination before um, in the tetrazoles, and whether it works or not is questionable. Um, diazination reactions are like um, nitrations, very important um, in terms of aromatic chemistry, uh, mainly because you have the leaving group as nitrogen, and nitrogen is the best. Uh, leaving group um, because it'll bubble out of solution as an inert gas basically um, so if you want to replace it with something say water so you want to turn um, I don't know aniline into a phenyl a phenol then um, you can use the nitrite which will generate the diazonium intermediate and then react that with water I'm um, just by heating it in water Nitrogen will fuck off, and then the hydroxide group will add on there, and you'll get a, you've uh, made your phenol. So, um, yeah, but I guess in our case we're sort of not using the diazonium as an intermediate; we're using it as the end product. Um, it's about all I have to say. Um, the product we're making is very insoluble, so the amount of water we're using here is a bit, you know, whatever. Um, but the important thing is that we're going to keep it dilute and we've got a temperature window to hit which is somewhere between uh, 20 to 25 degrees which is isn't too bad it's about room temperature so we'll keep the additions um, yes yeah, slow to maintain it at that temperature uh, without it heating up too much because the diazonations generally do heat up quite a lot um, and that's about it so we'll uh, weigh out some stuff As you can see in the time lapse, we went from a deep red to a sort of a, a poo brown, I guess. But that's exactly what we want. This is, it's uh, appeared to work perfectly. So we're now going to filter this. To filter this, we're going to use um, some filter paper inside the center, um, mainly because I don't like filtering primary explosives directly onto the, the center because then I have to scrape plastic across uh, rough glass with a, an explosive in between, which is you know, a recipe for disaster, but also the mechanical losses are quite high when I do it that way. Um, and then I'm gonna just use the syringe to pull the vacuum. Not because I'm worried about fumes, the um, hydrochloric acid is quite dilute, but because it's like 1.30 a.m. and if I wake up my family with the sound of the vacuum cleaner, they will be very annoyed. <laughs> Hi guys, I made a science today. As you can see, I did shit and it happened. Yeah, yeah you're like, yeah. full credit to you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I um, put a lot of effort what into this. What is it? Plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know what this channel is called? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we have dried the product. Uh, during the day in the sunlight and it has not degraded which is cool super cool um, and I guess what we will do now is... we are going to refill this god damn <laughs> no, this, is, this, is, this is flawless sorry I only do one take um, we're going to yeah one take and fine yeah <laughs> that's the that's channel name yeah well I'm going to weigh this and determine yield I guess and then light some on fire because we can light, light someone on fire yeah you all right, we had a, a yield of 2.02 grams, which represents a yield of 110%, which is obviously a little shitty, but um, that sort of, to me, implies that we've just got a bit of water in there because I haven't really thoroughly dried this. 
and I'm not obviously going to chuck it in the oven. Um, and I maybe, oh, maybe I could wash it a bit better. That's probably a good suggestion as well. <laughs> Thanks for that suggestion. Um, uh, well, I guess we'll see how this performs. Just nod, just oh, nod, nod yeah. and agree. I am just go, blonde ha -ha. Ha, ha, ha. No, you, you know things. <laughs> I'm paying you out because, you, like, you don't know much chemistry, do you? What do you know about the economy, Tom? Yeah, exactly. That's shockingly bad. Welcome back to yeah. shit explosions and shit fire. Yeah, that was shit. Um, so obviously we need to do some purification of that. All right, so I've washed this with a, a lot of water again and re-dried it over another day. And we will try burning it now. And that is, oh, that's perfect. So much better. Alright, and we're done. So here we have 1.17 grams of a sort of earthy brown powder, which is our um, ortho DMP. Uh, 1.17 grams is 61.5% yield based on uh, starting um, sodium pygramate. Um, so substantial loss here, but a lot of it was mechanical um, as we had to wash it, rewash it, but. Um, as you can see in this video, the washing was was very important to to um, get a lot of the um, sodium picramate out, which was slowing down the burning. And um, yeah, so you're probably expecting a few more tests of this now. Um, but what's going to happen is I'm going to do a comparison video in a few weeks on the other my main channel, Explosion and Fire, of the um, the para and the ortho um, isomers. Um, and you can watch that there. Um, fuck, I've got to clean up. Look how bad this place is. Um, anyway, what else? Um, so in the meantime, that'll be probably about four weeks away because I've still got another video coming out in a few days that's got nothing to do with this DDMP. It's got actually got to do with that red spot over there that you've probably seen in the background a bit and wondered why I have a, a beer container in my lab, but it's full of sand. Um... Uh, in the meantime, you should subscribe to Doug's Lab. I will put a link there, here. If you're here and you haven't heard of Doug's Lab, that would be um, very strange. Um, you know, seeing as I basically copied everything from Doug's Lab. Um, and Ken Blair. Let's, let's not take, give too much credit to Doug. Um, anyway, no, but he will be posting a synthesis of picric acid video in a few weeks, or a few days, or something like that. Um, probably should talk to him about it a bit more. Um, and, yeah, because I didn't do a synthesis of picric acid in this series, um, I started from picric acid. So, if you're interested to see a good video on um, picric acid, then um, subscribe to him. I mean, I haven't seen the video yet. He hasn't even made the video yet, but I already know it's going to be a good video. That's how good his channel is. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, oh, also, if you, if you uh, enjoyed this series, um, I'm probably going to say it's the end of the ISO. Um, ISO, um, the Paradidian P series as well. But um, feel free to support my Patreon if you if you like it. I only take money out um, for explosions and fire videos. So um, if you pledge money now, I'll, I'll I would take money out for the um, comparison video on the on the two DDMPs um, in the probably oh, I reckon there's going to be four weeks until it's up. But um, yeah, if you have any specific tests you want me to do of either DDMP or together to compare them, um, or that you want to see, or, or, or something you want me to blow up, then let me know that as well. Um, but other than that, I will store uh, most of this under water. I'll keep probably, um, oh, it's only 1.5, well, 1.2 grams, so I'll probably um, put half of it under water to store it because it's, it's um, insoluble in water. That's my dog, so. Um, it's insoluble in water and that will, will uh, lower the threat of explosions um, 
explosions quite significantly because once it's wet, it's really difficult to explode it. Um, and I'll keep the other half out dry to do some tests and run some videos and stuff just so I don't keep all uh, 1.2 grams in this uh, dry cup just lying around because that's a little dangerous. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you like this series. Um, I will be uh, doing the diazination of um, isobicramic acid very soon, but I am... Oh God, i got to clean up first. <laughs> this, is, this is horrendous. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed it. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.